Hello everybody and welcome to a terrible idea. <laughs> if you guys have been fans of the channel for a long time, you know I like to try things, kind of experiment, and sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. We got about two-ish weeks, maybe just over, before NHL 24 comes out, and I kind of wanted to do this to A, push myself to get out some more content before NHL 24, and B, so that I can... Sort of use this as a trial run that if I did want to do a franchise in NHL 24, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. My plan is to at least get these out every other day. I would like to get... I'm trying to think of a good benchmark. Maybe five or six years in, something like that. I don't know if that's possible, but we're certainly going to try. Mostly what I'm looking for out of this series is just support from you guys to let me know what the heck I should be doing. Because I am a franchise noob, so disclaimer... Spoiler alert, I have no idea what I'm doing in franchise mode. <laughs> I mean, I'm good at drafting teams, fantasy draft, but the actual inner workings of franchise mode, complete rookie. I'm no Toogie, I'll tell you that for free. And you may be wondering why the Ottawa Senators. I don't know. I just kind of went through the teams and I'm like, they made some decent moves recently. You know, they got Tarasenko, they got Corpusalo, and they are just a very unique team that... I feel like people project they should make the playoffs, and they didn't last year. Maybe they will this year. So I think it's in a, a good spot. We're not in a full rebuild here. We sort of have a shot to get in the playoff picture, but we are certainly not a number one contender. I am going to have injuries off because I just can't be bothered. That's going to be extremely annoying. You know, if we do another franchise mode in NHL 24, then maybe I'll have them turned on. But for now, I simply will not be asked to edit the lines every time someone breaks a fingernail. So, it's a no from me. In this video, I pretty much just want to go through our roster real quick, see what sort of prospects we have, and on top of that, obviously I want to edit the lines. So we got Jimmy Superstar, of course. He's got the low franchise potential, and one year left. So, oh never mind, he's got the extension, that's right. Okay, perfect. So, that's all set. We also have Brady Kachuk, of course, six years left. The team captain, Jake Sanderson, is an upcoming defenseman, so... Really going to try to grow him to be our number one defenseman. Really, when you look at the makeup of this team, it is a very young squad. Like, I wonder if they are potentially one of the youngest teams in the NHL. We've got this Tyler Boucher guy, who is medium top six, 70 overall. All right, that's good to know. I also have Ridley here, another medium top six, 75 overall. Only 20 years of age, so... There's some decent prospects here for sure. I feel like last year, or maybe the year before that, Brandstrom had, like, medium elite. That could be super outdated, but I remember at one point he was projected to be really good. And now he is a low top four, 80 overall defenseman. I think he was a part of the Carlson trade, right? Yarventi, 74 overall, top nine, medium. For netminders, obviously we got our 1-2 right here. The AHL starter will be Mad Sogard, who's got the medium starter potential. Six foot seven, holy. And he's only 21, so definitely going to be a starter in the future. Now, I feel like normally in the first episode of a franchise mode, you don't typically get too far into the season. I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. I'm going to be probably simulating up to the trade deadline to see how our team's doing. If I'm going to be completely transparent with you. That's my plan. I'm a really big fan of this chemistry. Plus two, plus three, plus one. Insane, honestly. I was not expecting that. It looks like Dylan Gambrell, not really happy down here. So you could probably sub him out. Watson, at least he has the one green check mark. We are roll four lines, so I would at least like to get this to a zero. Let's see what we can do here. Do we have any scratch players? We do. Ridley, minor scoring forward, but I feel like it would still fit in. All right, we also got Goche. Ooh, you are a right winger. Watson is also a right winger, but you know what? The guy we have there right now is a center that shoots right. So what difference does it really make? Scratch players. What if we throw in Goche? Boom. It is still a dash one. Incredible. Maybe? Really? Is it Watson? Is Watson the problem? You know what, guys? I got a crazy one for you. We're going to send these guys down because they're just going to be scratched anyway. So you can play in the AHL. And we're going to... Hello? Uh, yes, please. Some depth goal scoring. Sniper on the fourth line. Alex Formiton. 
I don't know why I said that so weird. It does get rid of the plus one. And they want him on the third line, which is fair. But if I move Broussard up, Pinto as well can be moved up. Hmm. What should we do here? That's weird. If I move him up, it becomes a zero. I feel like we probably still should, though. The plus one might not be worth it in this case. Because we've got Formenton playing with Norris and Joseph. Is it Formenton? Formenton? I just... Someone tell me. Someone throw me a lifeline here, please. But I do really like this third line. They should get some depth goals. Second line solid. First line is beautiful. I'm down with this last line. Two two-way forwards and a grinder. Face-offs. 79. Yeah, that's okay. It's not great, but it will do. Defensively, we probably got to do something about Holden here. Because I don't like Brandstrom having a dash one. So maybe something to look into right off the bat there. And then Netminders, Corby Solo, and Forsberg. No matter what, he seems to get a dash one. So I think I am just going to call Holden back up. And we'll rock the minus one for now. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, it is the third pair. So the minutes will be relatively limited. And I don't believe it'll harm Brandstrom that much. So let's go ahead, make the change back. Hamannick, you can go down. And we are calling up Holden. I also found this guy, um, Tyler Cleveland. Six foot four, 20 years old, and a medium top six defenseman at 76 overall. That is good. So a defensive prospect right there, hopefully, will grow in the AHL this year. Let's complete this transaction, confirm, go back, and edit the lines. I'm just going to do best lines anyway, but if you do best lines, it doesn't take you to this screen. So let's go ahead and why... Uh, there we go. Head coach preferred lines. Sorry. Brain fart. And I think we're all good here. Yep, nice. It wants Shane Pinto to be the fourth line center. 73 face-offs. I'd rather have 79. You know what I'm saying? He does shoot left, though, so it makes more sense to have him on the wing. Whatever. Pinto will get better at draws. We will go with that summary. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, Alex is also only 23, so we'll leave him there. Defensively, we have the dash one. It is what it is. And in net, we've got Jonas. Okay. Well... Uh, I think we can start simulating here pretty soon. Just make sure that the players that should be getting ice time in the AHL are. Normally, I feel like I have to go crazy and sign a bunch of players to boost up the AHL guys, but this roster actually looks fairly solid as it is. So I think I'm going to leave it. And our defense. Wow. Oh my word. The chemistry down here is unmatched. I can even move Tyler up and it's still a plus one. So I'm going to do that because he's a minor top two defender. And, you know, got that great potential. Why would I play Hetherington there when I could play good old T. Weiler? I'm also going to move up Bernard Docker. Hamannick's going right down to the third pair. Sorry, we get the plus twos up here now. And yeah, I mean, again, some more potential here. So why not? Same overall as Hamannick as well. Igor Sokolov. Medium top nine. Not bad. Okay, so yeah, we have... I like this. I'm actually very happy with this roster. Mads. 21 years of age, medium starter. Let's go. All right, simulation time. And maybe we'll make some moves at the deadline to try and really cement that playoff push for year one. But we'll see where we are at that time. I feel like I already mentioned this, but I will try to do some face cam for this franchise mode, especially, you know, if we're in like the playoffs or something. No promises because it takes a lot more work to get all that set up. And by doing it this way, it makes it more plausible to actually get a bunch of seasons done before NHL 24 comes out. So that's the plan. I already went right to the end of the year because I'm so used to French or sorry. Yeah, so used to franchise mode, guys. That's what I was saying right at the start of this video. I'm so used to fantasy drafts. There we go. All right, so up to the trade deadline. I think we could get going here. Simulate to this day. And let's see how the Ottawa Senators do. Not a great start. Really not a great start. Can we please hold on, hold the phone? Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, we suck. Second of all, I forgot to do scouting, I think. How do you do that again? You go over here, assign scout. Or do I have to go to like the staff? So we got Liga, SHL, QMJHL. Looks like we have a lot of stuff covered here, to be fair. I mean, this group of E's for overall is not ideal, but they're good in their region. At least, you know, 
So, like, am I supposed to specifically assign these guys to go look at players? Like, if, can I find prospects? Yeah, like, I don't know. Just find prospects, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is certainly not an ideal start from the lads, but there's tons of time. I'm not gonna throw around any judgment too early here, unless we lose to the Coyotes. Okay, so that's a little bit better. 2-4-1. and one. Big win over Florida and a big win over Tampa. The Golden Knights take us down in a high-scoring matchup. Three losses in a row. Bounce back with a win against New Jersey. So, that is an ugly record. Is it recoverable? Sure. But are we going to recover it is the real question here. I don't believe so. So, after being all gassed looking at our roster... And that hyping me up. I am now severely let down by the way our team is playing. Come on, bring it back here. Okay. 11, 16, and 2. Yes. Oh, wow. Don't you dare go and lose a bunch of games now. Keep this winning attitude up. We really did bring it back. We John cena the crap out of this league. Never give up. Come on. We take overtime shootout losses all day. All day. Sixth in the Atlantic Division at the moment. That is a must-needed win over the Jets there. We take down the Isles. That's okay. We went to overtime one of the games against Montreal. To be fair, those are divisional teams. So we do want to win those games. But you know what? Overall, ooh. Okay, let's go see what Surge is all about. Our head coach is only a B? Wow. Okay. So I should seriously consider this. He does have a 61 team fit. But let's go to higher coach. Also a B. Hmm. Probably not then. And a 51. Yeah, get out of here, Surge. There's seven more games before the trade deadline. Let's see if we can win at least four of them and have a modest record going in to the trade deadline. And maybe add some players. I don't know who we'll get rid of in order to beef this team up a little bit. So we are sixth in the division with a record of 29 25 and 7. So playoffs are definitely a possibility. Can't rule it out. But we're going to have to do some work here after this little red underscore. I'm going to try to show a whole bunch of stats here. Just so the people who are very familiar with franchise mode can help us out. So we are down here at the moment with 65 points. What about our... Are we scoring goals? Goals four per game? Yeah, we're scoring. We aren't doing a great job of keeping the puck out. So, maybe we gotta really try and add a defenseman to pair with Brandstrom. Or maybe we need a better goalie at the trade deadline. That is also a possibility. 81% on the PK. Uh, it's not great. But you know what? It does match with the top two teams there. So it can't be that bad. Power play percentage is 20 which is actually pretty solid. So I think our offense is there. It's just the defensive part of our game that isn't really clicking. Drew just over point a game. And Tarasenko has 57. Jimmy Superstar, 56. Yeah, I think we are getting it done offensively. Jacob Chikrin with 46 points. Fire me vertical. And then we got Shabbat with 44. They are gelling. That's good, considering they're both lefties. <laughs> But, doesn't matter. Uh, goaltenders, this is going to be it. Oh, dear. Yeah. So, this is a problem. We should probably try to find a goalie at the trade deadline. Maybe move one of our lower-ish picks and send a goalie back in exchange for... I'm thinking like an 86-ish goalie. Maybe 85. We'll see what's available. Sanderson is a dash two. The only defenseman... With a negative plus minus. I mean, Jacob is a zero, which isn't great either. But Holden, seven points and is a plus four. Brandstrom, plus six. I'm going to go through the trading block right now so that we can see who's available. And hopefully it will remain the same. Dumba. Ooh, that could be interesting. So maybe we could go after a guy like Dumba to beef up our defense as a one-year sort of thing. He is righty, though. I think Brandstrom's listed as a right D, but he shoots left. So we got to keep that in mind. But definitely an option. Nothing really going on here. Uh, Jeff Skinner. We don't need offense, so 
No, Comrie won't help our situation either. Tanev? Hmm. Also a right defenseman, but could work. Wow, they have a lot of players on the block. Kadri, Mackenzie Wieger. He's got some abilities there. Also a right-handed defender. Trade value is decently high, but not crazy. His contract is also up after this year. Carolina. Okay, so Ranta is an option, perhaps. It's only a one overall boost. How is Ranta playing so far? 905. So pretty much exactly the same as Corpy Solo. No. No. All right, we are on a dry spell here. Stranges. Wow. Now, this is interesting. I don't need forwards, though. Goss Despair could be nice. He's a dash 22 right now. That is horrendous, but he is a lefty. 85 overall. Offensive defenseman, though. The chemistry might still not be there. Is there a way to check that? Like, can I... Mm, defensive pairing, one. That's not happening. Again, some good players here on the block, but we don't need offense. There we go. Now we're cooking. Philip Gustafson. A 917 at the moment. He's only 24, listed as a medium starter. That might be our guy. We might try to go after him and trade a decent pick for him as well. Maybe we could package with Spurgeon. I don't think we should, though, to be honest, because he does have five years left at 7.5. Ryan McDonough has more trade value than I feel like he should, considering he's 33 and this contract takes him till he's 37 at 7.1. So that's an option, I'll say. Varlamov is also an option as a one-year kind of netminder. 86 overall. And he's 34. He currently has a 901 save percentage, though. E. Maybe not. No, nothing going on there. Nope. Uh, no. San Jose, probably not. I mean, Nudavara, we could pick him up. Maybe he's also a right defenseman that shoots left. I don't know if he'll help out that bottom pair at all, though. And I mean, to be fair, we don't have to play whoever we pick up on the bottom pair either. I'm just assuming that they most likely will. Because I think our top four is somewhat established. Braden Shen, Hayes, Letty. Also a minus 22. He currently has 20 points. A lefty making just 3.8. Contract takes him until he's 35. Also Falk. And Tori Krug. Oh my word. Okay. You guys are going to have a lot of choices to make. And be sure to like each other's comments as well. So that I know what we as a whole want to do. Abruzizi, Vancouver, Ian Cole. He's 34 though, but another possibility. No, nope, nothing going on here. And last but not least, the Winnipeg Jets. I follow. Now that's interesting. Really, you're going to put your captain on the block? Ballsy move. There is also Brendan Dillon. Six foot four and four and a half star physicality. So he is a defenseman we could go after and kind of replace Holden. Two overall or maybe one overall better. I still don't know what the chemistry with Branstrom will be like. Maybe Branstrom is the problem child, but yeah. Okay, so right now, those are our options. It seems we are struggling defensively, not so much offensively. And our last 10 is pretty solid at 6-2-2 two, two there. I can go ahead and check the entire league to see the team stats here. And if you guys want me to check more, let me know. Because I don't know what to check for franchise modes either. So all the information you can provide me, I will try to mentally note it. Or might even physically write it down so that I can remember. But yeah, it looks like Florida is running away with it right now. They got 88 points. And where are we in the entire league? We are down here at, oh wow, position number 20. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but I think we can do it. So go ahead, let me know what you think we should do. Uh, I do still realize this is a terrible idea, and we might not get as far into this as I would like to. Um, you know, like flu season. So that is a possibility with the temperature changing here. And <laughs> just so many things could go wrong, but... We're going to try it out anyway, all right? I think I'm done with fantasy drafts for the year. I might do another career sim, but probably not. Like, this is probably all you're going to be getting for 
the rest of NHL 23. Okay, I should correct that by saying that I plan to upload this video tonight. So I do have two videos scheduled for next week. There's a draft and a career sim. Other than that, this is all you're getting. Okay, so that's what's going on. That's the calendar. And yeah, I am looking forward to it. So I'm probably going to, in the next video, finish off the season and maybe do the playoffs because we can't really make any moves that require your help anyway. So if we do make the playoffs, then I will likely do them. And I'm just trying to think if I want to do free agency on my own or if I want your guys' help with that. We'll see. We'll just see where it takes us, okay? So thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.